I am here. Uh, thank you very much for coming. I'm Max. Nice to meet you. I'm Arthur. Oh, wow. Thank you. Um, so we, I just learned about that uh, Toth story, Toth and uh, the return of Magi Kings. So uh, any information for the public would be welcome. Uh, I'm recording if you want to say something, it would be great to, to learn about that. Very well. Let me tell you what is happening. The, the public knows about many of these things already, but they did not know why these things were happening. First of all, the, in the astral, many of the stargates are being worked on because they are not in the correct uh, functionality to work right now. They need to have uh, the direction, their directional modes changed. They need to have uh, their technology uh, corrected. They need to have new DNA put into each of the stargates because they, all the stargates should be awakened within the next uh, few years, perhaps five. This means that they will be functional for beings to come in and out. However, without their DNA being in these stargates, they cannot use them. And okay. the DNA that, is, DNA that is in these stargates is now defunct, which means that the DNA has been in there a long time, and some of these beings no longer exist. So that DNA has to be moved out. New meat DNA has to be put in. Each Stargate has the um, ability to have about a hundred different um, DNAs in it. But in order for it to function properly, all the DNAs must be active. Since all the DNAs are not active at this time, uh, they need cleaned out, they need refunctioned, and uh, new D DNA needs put in and activated. Now, the positioning of the Stargates is also incorrect. They are not facing Orion or Sirius or Pleiades any longer. Many of these Stargates, the sky was much different, uh, 22,000, 40,000, however long ago it was that they made all these Stargates, uh, they were all facing the sky, but the sky has changed since then. Are you aware of that? Of course. And this, so they have to be redesignated to function properly. They have to be redesignated to the proper sky alignments. Now the sky alignments uh, will stay into functionality for about a thousand years because they will take in a large area of the sky uh, things don't change that quickly uh, with the sky, but very gradually. So the stargates stay in alignment for about a thousand years. So anyhow, they are also bringing back them all the Magi kings that were not here, that were trying to use the emerald system, tablet system in a very positive way, which now the emerald tablet system is not being used exactly positively and has a lot of slightly different information in it that would cause deception. This is why your planet is in such trouble. The religious systems are very poisoned. They believe one thing when another thing is true. And even though some of these things are true, they are slanted in some way. So religious beliefs have got to be retaught. The clarity of what the truth is cannot be hidden or diluted or confused. It has to come in a straightforward manner and this will be coming also. This understanding of who God is and who all those that have come before the beginning of time to all places in the universe 
and visited your planet as well have got to reveal, be revealed in their proper identity so that they can be seen for what they truly are. Now, many things are seen in part, but not in whole. The, the whole creation of the universe and worlds is coded and is in, uh, in the uh, universal codes and in the, the emerald disks, the 12 emerald tablet disks. And so therefore, all these different codes and informations, libraries worth of information, have been uh, restored, or are being restored, but we're hoping not too late. Because many of these things that are in the codes, in the, in the libraries, must be understood by your people so they can move forward as in a positive way. Now, at this point, the negativity has brought your world almost to the brink of destruction. And in order for the brink of destruction to be stopped, many have to realize what it is that's guiding it, what it is that's, that's happening here, what it is uh, that is actual truth and not just propaganda or, com or false flags or all these different things. Some of these things... They don't know the difference between a real thing and a false flag anymore. Everything is a false flag to some people. Everything becomes false news. Everything becomes false and polarized. And this will destroy not only your planet, but many different features in the universe because this is a central location for many things. And it is that there are other planets that have come to life because of this planet and because of the way that it was seeded originally. So this is something that must be understood by the people. Now, I do not care if it has my name attached to it, but I do care that God teaches what he wishes to be taught to his people. And that is the only thing that makes any difference, is that the truth gets out there in the way that God wants it to happen. Now, their Mother, Father, God, the supreme male, female being of the universe, is going to teach that male and female are equal. They may not be equal in structure, but they are equal in thought process. They're equal in every other ways. And so they, they do have their own functionalities as being. Men cannot have children, but women can. Men are heavier workers because they can uh, get to stronger uh, strengths by working their muscles. And females are more strategic in some ways than men. So there are many things that are are different but equal in understanding. Without all these things put together, you will have an imbalanced society. And at this point, your society is incredibly imbalanced. Do you agree? Yes. It must come back to an equilibrium that is understandable by both male and female, God male and female, and spirit female and male. And all these things are f fully out of balance at this time. Nobody understands the male-female God. They mostly call him male because that is what they have been taught by the Tothian understanding. Women have been lessened, and so they have now got to be empowered. Not that they, that will raise their um, pride or not their arrogance, because, well, there are, er, there's arrogance on both sides already. But this is for equilibrium and balance. That is the reason for it. It's not for one 
uh, side to be greater than the other, or one side to rise up against the other, men to take over if they're, they're brought into equality. That is not the purpose of this. They're, they are to rule together and to have equal thought processes without, with only kings and no queens, or only queens and no kings, there's an imbalance. <clears throat> no one can think like both sexes at once. No one can see both sides of the story as well as a man and a woman together looking at the story. So therefore, you understand how important it is to bring this balance back. Yes. Should I ask yes. questions? Of course you may. Uh, how can you help? How can I help? We are how bringing... can uh, uh, the light workers can help? The light workers must find the information that I am speaking of. Find the truth. Find the understanding of uh, the purity of God, the male and female aspects, and bring it into their example. Bring it into what, who they are, and many of them are doing so. They are acting equally with men and women and bringing a gr better example of the truth to the world at this point. There has been a time where prejudice, racism, and many other negative aspects of the human development have occurred and have been taught from birth, especially in places like the South or in the Middle East, where prejudice is taught from birth on up. And even though some of them may be college graduates and very brilliant, this prejudice lives on because it is a family tradition almost, and not because they understand it as an intellectual choice. So you're saying uh, male and female principle should be equalized. Are they equalized among the 12 kings? So do you have like six queen, queens among the kings? Most of, them, most of the magi kings are male but there is a reason for that. But you're right, there is some female here as well. But we are both male and female in some senses. Mm -hmm. More people will understand that we are authority by being more male, but we do have a female side that will uh, come out. So the gates you're mentioning, are they in our dimension or are they higher dimensional? They are slightly higher dimensional. They are out of phase with your society at this time, and that is, has been done intentionally so that they cannot be misused or destroyed. Excellent. So when you're going to re -orient, uh, re reorient, reorient them, realign them, uh, are, you going to, are you going to build them from scratch or just turn them around? No. We are actually using people in the astral to help fix them, uh, to move away the weathering from them, to bring, uh, to clean out the old DNA, to re, uh, uh, to re, uh, set the location devices, to build, uh, to uh, add the technology that is not necessary because technology has changed since these were built. And so there is greater technology to be added to them, to make them greater, much uh, more effective and efficient. So th in the astral, many of your people have been taught how to help with these stargates. Now, scientists on your side in the third dimension will have to work on these stargates as well. And this will come, the information for helping with these will come from outside exopolitics and the matrix. The matrix will also feed information to those that are able to understand the um, technology that is uh, in these particular stargates and how to update the technology in these stargates, but they will need some help from outside forces, from, out, from the aliens, as you call them, 
and from spirits. Which are the aliens which collaborate with you? The Pleiadians will be with us. The Orions will be with us. The Syrians and the Octorians. These are the ones that we know that we can trust so far. There are many others that are aligned with these particular species, so I'm sure that they will be trustworthy as well. But of course, there will be double agents within all these groups, and there will be those that will uh, forsake their missions if they are bought off by the dark side. But we are hoping that we will make significant uh, forward progress very shortly. So, um, how about golden triangles and uh, blue aliens? They are definitely part of our group. They are much higher in status than just corporeal beings. They're in the spiritual realm. I see. Uh, and Tolth, uh, he is also a blue avian. So, uh, what's the position of Tolth in, in this situation? He will fight with his own thought processes. You must understand, I cannot give you all the information right now, but he is very adequate when it comes to, uh, or more than adequate, he's a brilliant strategist. He's a brilliant uh, understander of what is happening for the future. He can see into the distance. He can see into the past. He knows what to do, and he is already realigning everything so that he can retake, uh, re-establish his leadership again. But we are tearing down his uh, basic formats. I was, I was, I was hoping that by this time he would be on your side. He is not going to be on our side. I cannot go into that right now because that information is classified. Uh, who else is uh, our, our, your opponents? The, well, there are some of the Anunnaki that are, that are some of the uh, Draconian uh, influences are, some of the um, reptilian and sectoid forces are, the tree people are very anti-human, but, but they are also have very negative thoughts about other species as well. So there are definitely several that have uh, negative um, intentions for this world. One of those things that are happening is this new G5 energy will cause a lot of death. And also, it must, so it must be stopped. But also, they are terraforming the planet little by little. And by the, by the end of this, uh, this century, uh, which is really not that far away, already a fifth of this century is gone. And by the end of this century, or nearly the end, if everything that they want to do is done, this planet will be completely terraformed and not able to be sustainable for human life. I see. Um, you mentioned tree people. I really like trees. Is it, uh, and we have like now the problem with trees this, this summer. Are tree people involved in it? Uh, indirectly. Tree people do not like humans. They've seen what you do to trees. And so they are, they have known what you've done to trees all through history, and they see that as uh, something personal against them. Even they, though many trees are, are honored and uh, are thought of as a great, uh, like fruit trees and things of this nature, which are honored, and fir trees, which are honored, they still see the rape of the forests of the uh, of the Nile area, the rainforests. They see how trees are just uh, cut down uh, to make paper and 
many different things. So they're, they're pretty anti-human. How big is their influence on the planet? Is the what? How big is the influence of the three people on the planet? Not that large. They do not travel much. They have been known. They, have, they are space worthy, but they do not travel much. They prefer to hire uh, people to do their work outside of their planet for them. I see. Uh, you didn't mention uh, like demons, devils, and Lucifer. Are they real? They are. They are part of, they're just renaming of the, some of the draconian features. Lucifer is also Toth's name in some, in some languages. Oh, really? So is it uh, the same person? The same person is many people because he is reincarnated many times to keep a hold of what his rule on this planet. So Thoth is Lucifer. That is one of the names. Um, is he also Shiva? There is many different names, yes. I will not go into all that because it's not relevant, really. Um, I know my main question is that looking at the history, it looks like some of their negative events in the history happened miraculously, and I cannot blame aliens for that because it's just too uh, too many people were involved and too many magic events were involved. So I'm thinking that if there might have been some some organizing force for the destruction, of course. I wonder, what was standing behind that organizing force? What is behind the organizing force is the knowledge of the universe, which is on the 12 uh, holographic disks. So these is, codes, the codes that are set within these holographic disks, uh, whoever has control of them controls the universe, or at least most of it. So is it like Thoth individually, or is it the whole army of his? There's many working with him, and they are an alliance together. So it's not that he is working alone, no. I see. So the dark side is organized. Very. All right. Which of the um, spiritual masters are with you? Which of the spiritual masters are real? Are with you. Uh, with, oh, many of them. They're those that are examples of positivity, of course. Kutumi, the Babaji's, the very positive aspects of all the religious gods. But remember, in every single one of these religions, there is deception somewhere. They, Toth has managed to put deception in every one so that they will not purely or clearly see God for who he is. There is all kinds of negativity about God in these things. It's very sub subtle and very interesting, such as death to the infidels. You would think that would be maybe something God would say, but he doesn't. God does not kill anyone. Whenever a death occurs, their energy returns to him. And so why would he wish infidels to die if it only is a return of energy? He is wishing for the energy to become uh, very positive, to create the, a world on which all things are good and positive and beautiful not to be one killing another. Killing of someone else is not a positive thing. Recently someone asked me if, uh, if there is only a single God. 
if uh, the singularity of God is true? And I realized I don't know the answer. I believe so, but uh, it is it isn't is complete. There is a male female God, and he is alone the creator. She and he alone created. But remember this how many facets of personalities can God have? He can have many, many facets of personality. Look at all the Hindu gods. They have all a different facets of his personality, and some have a facet of Toth's personality. Uh, now, suppose we live in the creation which is created by a single god. Is there, does he have friends and relatives which have their own creations and do they exchange the programs? He created creator beings which will help him to uh, be servant to the universes that he has created. He, is, he has made uh, beings that are very powerful and similar to gods, but are not completely gods. Of course, He's, he has had to give them limitations so that they do not try to take over his position. And even as they are positive and beautiful beings, some have become negative and work together to deceive or overcome him. But they never will because as he is much older and greater than any of them, he will see ahead and know what they are doing. So is he lonely or does he have friends uh, outside of the creation? He is always talking to someone in somewhere, always talking to his creator beings. He is not alone at all. He was, I should say, he, she was alone for a while until they understood the two of them as, as the creator, learned how they were, that how their energy worked, and how to make it into matter, light, and many different things. Some of these things were accidents that they discovered, and but learned immediately how to do this, and they they saw it was wonderful and good, and continued to make matter and created different species, and they know how to make life from this matter and the plasma that they created, and different things. Um, as you speak, I feel a presence of uh, some very high energies kind of flashing here. Yes. Um, so that interferes with my question because my mind doesn't work straight. But uh, my other question was, I heard Metatron could be on the side of the Lucifer. Is it true? He has been through a lot. And the Luciferian agenda uh, was forced upon him for a point. But I cannot speak about Metatron right now. There are too many things that involve his activity that I cannot speak about. Uh, would you recommend uh, speaking to him and trusting him? There's an aspect of him that is very, very positive. I see. Um, now, I'm still interested in uh, in the history of Israel and in uh, Old Testament there is a God that invites or orders the Jews to kill other peoples. That and is not God. Mm -hmm. God does not order anyone to kill anyone. These are the war the uh, wars that have been going on in the universe for a million, a billion years. These continue on every planet. They continue on every world and every dimension. They are fighting the battle of overcoming and want to be the, the true victors. I'm looking at um, little animals and young insects and young uh, plants and I recognize the image of a child in them. So even cockroaches and uh, spiders, their children, they have some sort of similarity to human children 
in some behaviors. So I wonder if it is a reflection of a child aspect of God. Is it true? It, in some ways, yes. He has a, a childlike aspect. He had, perhaps you could call it a bad childhood, because he was alone a lot. But he lives his childhood out eternally with, within also their uh, youth, their old age. They're still creating, and they, and he, they will never die. So they know all the different levels of life, and that's part of why they continue to create life so that they can experience it over and over again, the beauty, the innocence, and the, the power that is life and how it works. And they let it do what it wants to do because it has uh, evolution, it has a sense of being, and they want to see how these lives all uh, develop and decide to work. Of course, they have negative influences that are all about them, but they also have the positive influences, and he wants to see how many of them choose the side of his side. Thank you. So I, I wonder if this, uh, if uh, this 12 kings uh, are, if you guys are from Earth, or are you coming from beyond your the earth we have been part of the earth but we are not from the earth right so the story starts much earlier than the, the planet you will find many stories about us through history however some of those stories have been uh, tainted and re repurposed uh, the number 12 corresponds to 12 uh, signs of zodiac solar zodiac is it uh, a coincidence and 12 disciples and t there's many 12 associations it is not just one or two but there are many and there is a reason for that as well and 12 the numerical systems with 12 can be broken down to three three is the um if you add one and two together, which is 12. You get three, which is Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, which is also religious number. And three is also a very strong number throughout all things. Uh, but do not, put in, do not put any credence in the number system yet. Your number system is flawed, but it will be made accurate eventually. Uh, my question is more related to the history. So I understand the 12 um, signs of Zodiac correspond, uh, 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 pertain to the, to the rotation of the planet, but you guys come from outside of the planet. so. So I wonder why, why there is that correspondence. Maybe there, that is a universal principle. It's a, it's a, it's a numerology acquaintance. Um, I recently looked at the solar system um, planets and uh, some of them are aligned one way, they're axes and uh, Others are aligned another way, so it looks like they were mixed together, but I cannot see any natural way how, how these planets could, uh, could come together to have similar orbits but different axes. So my conclusion that is that the whole thing is very artificial. Is it right? There are some things that have been changed intentionally. And there is one destroyed planet which left an asteroid belt. Yes. So you were part of that story as well. We are part of stories from the beginning of time, as you may know it. But 
not from the beginning of time as God, Mother, Father, God knows it. So how long ago was uh, the takeover of the power by, by thought? Was it like in the recent times, right? Much, much later. I cannot discuss that right now. I see. I see. So, um, who else would you recommend we speak among the 12 kings? Which other kings? Yes. We would all say the same, I would think. Or very similar. Some of us may have different tongues and languages and accents, but we are all unified in thought in some ways. We know exactly what has happened, but of course, 12 of you that know the same story may tell it very differently. Uh, 12 signs of Zodiac have different personalities. Are you aligned with any of those, any of 12? Yes, I am. Can you share which one? I am aligned with Aquarius. Wow. Um, are you are you guys aligned with certain human races or countries? No, not. Well, yes, yes, and no. The twelve tribes of Israel. I wonder about that. I wonder if uh, 12 tribes of Israel have nothing to do with Jews. Maybe these are uh, the whole humanity. Correct. So is your tribe aliens or English-speaking people? Part of it. Not all. We have our different areas where some speak this language and some speak another. Some speak your language. Which is my language? English. I see. Well, that's um, what you're speaking now. Although right, right. you also speak Russian. All right. So are you aligned with uh, England or not necessarily? England is where things... Uh, England is a very interesting piece in the puzzle because it has a very positive aspect and it has a very negative aspect. And that is where we happen to, to come through, is in England, but there are many very negative aspects there that must be dealt with. Um, I just wonder if uh, Arthur, uh, which is known through England, is it your land or not? Or what, what is your land? My land does not belong on this planet. I see. So you're not associating yourself with uh, England? No. I see. Um, and also your, your name is sometimes associated with Arcturians because it sounds similarly. Is it, uh, is it right? Um, yes and no. <laughs> um, what's, your, what's your native tone? Uh, my native tongue, I have several because I've been many places and I've been many people. So I do not have a native tongue that I can share with you because there are many tongues that I use. Do you have a body at the moment? I do. Wow. Can you describe yourself? I look human at this point. Are you on the planet? Yes. On our planet? Yes. Are you born on the planet? No. Oh, interesting. So but what I race do you form on your planet and I am permitted to be here? So what culture are you from in this in this incarnation? It would be the English culture. Wow. Are you living a normal human life or are you doing something? Special? We're doing something that needs to be done and we are not here permanently on this world.
do you have does your body have some superpowers that i cannot say wow so all of your kings are are you like in human form this this time right now wow are you uh how do you call it um uh, eternal are your bodies uh living long time you're not are you this kidding? body the body that i'm in at this time will not be eternal no are you okay wow but the spirit is of course of course very interesting it's uh it's a new development of the drama uh you're welcome you're welcome uh I wonder if you can uh, direct us to be of uh, more specific help to you. Of course, you want uh, the to harmonize our our development and to get it right. We like uh, life and we like children. If you look us up, you may find some information about us. All right. It may be rather new information because old information doesn't exist here. They made sure of that. But there is some new information coming forth. Look for it. Because this will enlighten you. I am not sure what they are writing, but I know that they are writing something, and that is what is allowed to be written. Uh, can you share any poetry or songs? Poetry? Or, or singing. I am not a singer, but um, I can share poetry if you wish. That would be great. All right, it's been a long time, but it, I do remember some things. Okay. Through the crimson center of nebulas, there is the particles that are alive with new juvenation and re-understanding and re of bringing what is to be to that area. I know those words don't exist in your language in some ways, but they do in other worlds and other uh, understandings. Let this be a moment of silence for those that have brought forth the new galaxies and the new worlds and the new planets that are causing alignments and power grids and causing alignments that cannot be unchanged for centuries. But all things are moving and all things will be in, in stasis only in the thought process. Whenever you think of something, it is always in stasis. And then it moves. But remember, you are always moving and will always be moving. Nothing ever stops. Even every molecule in the universe is moving all at once and cannot be stopped. Even if you stop it, it will continue to move around the galaxy as the galaxy has hold gravitationally of all things that are within its pool. And so therefore, all things are moving and you are moving too. Nothing will be stopped. All things will continue to move forward. God has made sure that continuous motion is always there and will always be there because the matrix moves toward him as well as away from him. That which moves in those directions will find eternity in the round spiral galaxies, in the, the ever knowing of the circular eternity. Thank you. Uh, many of us feel uh, weird these days. Our health goes in a strange patterns. I wonder if you could give us any tools for self-healing and alignment. Yes, draw on Mother Earth for one thing. Ground yourself to Mother Earth. Bring in healing energies from her first, and then let her 
be the guide to bring in healing energies from the universe. Ask her opinions. First, be connected to her. And when you are connected to her, ask what part of the universe or what things from the universe or the air or the surroundings can be very healing to you because each individual is different. And she knows each individual because she knows your energy as it goes down to her. So let her tell you what you need. Is there any chant or um, a blessing which we could uh, recite to help ourselves? I believe that there are no formal blessings. She just wants you to talk to her in a way that she can understand. And God as well. He does not have any formal blessings, but he wants you to speak frankly and truly to him. Is there a prayer you can give us? A prayer would be something that would be imitated, but imitation is not uh, genuine necessarily. She wants something genuine as well as he wants something genuine. And when a prayer is repeated, um, it can lose its genuineness because you may not understand it the way I speak it. So make okay. your own prayer. Can you make a prayer for this moment for us getting our healing? Yes. Thank you. Do you, all right. Javreta Andriak Krakasushum. Let the healing come. Let it be full and rich. Let it come from Mother Earth and sky above. Let it come from atmosphere and plant enhanced beings. Let it come from all the ways that it is possible for healing to come, for the energies to unite to come into you and come into those that need healing and need the power of cleansing because that is what healing is. It is not killing of things, but it is cleansing out of things. Let you be grown into purity. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I had uh, wonderful energy flashes during your uh, during this conversation. It was uh, very nice to be in this conversation. Excellent. My time my time is over. Um, uh, I thank you for coming and speaking. You are welcome. Be well. You too. Hello? Uh, Jim, thank you very much. Welcome back. Okay, just a note. He was unsure of how to say certain things, and he's not sure if he said them correctly. I noticed it was okay. 